James, um, Flaherty's point was really important, I think, about um, how people manage to overcome the, the differences that aren't that important in the end. And it is, I, I mean, in your case, in James's case, it was through a specific kind of um, effort and, and, and an environment. But actually, I think that happens in everyday life with ordinary people, as long as, and this is something that's very important that hasn't been brought in the discussion, as long as their lives are left kind of free of control, more or less, free of interference. If people are left, are left to get along with themselves, in Britain I'm talking about, then the whole history shows, the historic development, the social progress in Britain shows that, you know, there will be instances where people say the wrong thing, where people might be thinking wrong things, people might be thinking insulting things, but that at the same time, people are multifaceted. And if they're allowed to be themselves, they, they overcome them, right? They just get on with living together. And, you know, my own family anecdote is a real example of this, um, which is, you know, when my mum mum and dad first moved, they bought their first house in a white suburb. Um, the, the owners said they'd been told by the neighbours not to sell to, you know, um, Pakistan, you know, the insulting word for, for Indian people. And, um, but the owners were so, the owners were so kind of um, uh, repulsed by what the neighbours were saying that they sold it to mum and dad, you know, even though they had other offers. And the neighbours at first were a bit frosty, but my mum soon had another baby and they weren't very rich. She was washing the nappies and hanging them out on the line. And the, the neighbours who were a bit wealthier were appalled to see her having to wash by hand, wash these poopy nappies by hand, you know, and they just said, oh, look, pass them over. And, and she did, so the white neighbor who was racist was washing my sister's poopy nappies. And, you know, they never became best friends, but they became neighbors, right? They tol tolerated and tolerable neighbors. And I think that that's, there's nothing wrong with that more um, limited aim. You know, we don't have to love each other. We don't have to respect each other and continually show each other that we adore each other's culture and food and everything. As long as you just kind of accept People, you know, have different ways of doing things, but generally there's a common ground in that we're all living and trying to live the best way we can. But we're not, if, there's a lot of things happening outside the race discussion that are interfering with that and uh, that are not helping.